हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर फाइव ऑन सैम्पलिंग डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट सैम्पलिंग डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ सैम्पल मीन इन लेक्चर नंबर वन टू फोर ऑन सैम्पलिंग डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सैम्पलिंग डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ सैम्पल प्रपोर्सन टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस लेक्चर वी रिक्वायर द नॉलेज ऑफ बायोनोमियल एंड नॉर्मल प्रोबेबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सो इफ यू आर नॉट फेमिलियर विथ दिस टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन आई सजेस्ट यू टू वॉच माई लेक्चर्स ऑन दिस टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड दैम एंड देन गो फॉर दिस लेक्चर नाउ हियर वी आर कंसर्न विथ प्रपोर्सन ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन सपोज वी नो दैट we are given some proportion of the sample which is drawn from the population then using that sample proportion uh, we are interested to give inferences about the proportion of population so we are going to discuss that what is sampling distribution of sample proportion or what will be the properties of sampling distribution of sample proportion that is what will be the mean of sampling distribution of sample proportion or what will be the standard deviation or variance of that sampling distribution so for that we first understand these notations we will use small p for population proportion proportion of population will be denoted by small p and we will use p hat to denote the sample proportion so whenever we are talking about proportion uh, we will be concerned with some characteristic or some properties of or some class or categories related to that population or sample for example suppose we consider this example approximately 60% of all part time college students in the united state are female here the population under consideration is the set of all part time college students the population in this statement is all part time college students in the united state all part time college students in united states states and we are interested in the number of female students out of these college students so for every college student we are interested to check whether that college student that part time college student is a female or not and it is given that 60% of all part time college students are female that is uh, we are given the fraction of the population so we can say that population proportion is 0.60 we are given that approximately 60% of all part time college students are female that is population proportion is 0.60 now suppose a random sample of size n equal to 100 were taken from this population of all part time college students so we what would you expect to see in terms of behavior of a sample proportion of females here we are interested in the characteristic of that student that whether that student is a female or not and we are considering a sample of size 100 from the proportion from the population uh, which is having population proportion of female students as 0.60 and we are considering 100 part time college students from that population now for each college student 
which we are selecting in a sample there are two possibilities either that part time college student is a female or he is not a female there are only two possibilities for that part time college student and here we are considering n equal to 100 and uh, we can say that uh, this n students are independent of each other and uh, therefore this is the case of binomial experiment we can consider that we are performing binomial experiment we are checking that out of those 100 part time college students whether each student is a female or not so if we consider capital x equal to number of part time college students i will sort it right college students who are female in this sample suppose capital x is the number of female part time college students and uh, we know that if we are considering n equal to 100 then number of trials are finite there are only two possibilities for each part time college student whether student is a female or student is not a female and we are given that probability of being female is 0.60 so if we consider success as that student is a female then probability of success which we denote by small p is given as 0.60 that is probability of success remains constant so if you under, if you have understood binomial distribution we can understand that this capital x is a binomial random variable capital x follows a binomial distribution with parameters n equal to 100 and probability of success as 0.60 now we know that what are the mean and standard deviation of binomial distribution if we want to write down mean of binomial uh, distribution or binomial random variable then we know that expected value of binomial random variable is equal to number of trials into probability of success and uh, standard deviation of binomial random variable is equal to if we use sigma for this capital x then it is given by square root of n times p times 1 minus p so these are the mean and uh, standard deviation of this binomial random variable now we are not interested in the uh, random variable capital x our interest is to decide the sample proportion now because we have number of females are capital x in a sample of size n we can say that sample proportion is equal to capital x by n and one more thing for this x x is a binomial random variable and uh, we know that if number of trials are large and probability of success is small then binomial distribution can be approximated by normal distribution that also we have discuss and we are considering this condition if n times p is greater than 5 and n times 1 minus p is greater than 5 then we can approximate binomial distribution using normal distribution so if x this binomial random variable satisfies this two conditions then this x or binomial random variable 
can be approximated by normal random variable or we can say that x is a normal random variable with mean equal to n times p and variance equal to n p times 1 minus p. So, we will remember this condition number of trials into probability of success is greater than 5 and number of trials into 1 minus probability of success is greater than 5. If these conditions are satisfied then binomial approximation binomial distribution can be approximated by normal distribution. So, we can see that if we consider x equal to number of part time college students who are female then under those conditions x can be approximated by normal random variable. Now what is sample proportion? Sample proportion is nothing but capital X divided by n. Sample proportion equal to number of observations having that characteristic divided by total number of observations in this sample. Here x equal to number of female students and uh, divided by n equal to total number of part time students in that sample. That means we can write p hat as 1 by n times x. Now this 1 by n times 1 by n is constant. Therefore, the distribution of x and the distribution of sample proportion are same. So, if x is a binomial random variable, sample proportion p hat is also a binomial random variable and if x is a normal random variable, p hat is also a normal random variable. So, under those two conditions that n into p is greater than 5 and n into 1 minus p is greater than 5, we can say that this sample proportion is also a normal random variable. Now, what is the expected value of this sample proportion? So, expected value of p hat will be equal to expected value of 1 by n times x and because expected value is linear, this is going to be 1 by n times expected value of x and expected value of x that is expected value of binomial random variable is n times p. Therefore, expected value of sample proportion is equal to population proportion. Similarly, we can decide the variance of sample proportion. Here I replace this by variance, variance of this and using the properties of variance we have to square this square of constant times variance of x and the variance of binomial random variable is given by n times p times 1 minus p so here 1 n will cancel out and we have p times 1 minus p divided by n that is variance of sample proportion is given by probability of success times 1 minus probability of success divided by total number of observations in the sample. So, what we have shown is if we have suppose we are given a population value of population proportion and suppose we have p hat which is sample proportion which is given by number of elements which uh, which belong to a particular class or number of elements having given characteristic divided by total number of observations in the sample of size n which is randomly selected from the given population. Then this sample proportion is approximately a normal random variable or sampling distribution of sample proportion is normal distribution if n times p is greater than 5 and n times 1 minus p is also greater than 5 and 
एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू ऑफ सैम्पल प्रपोर्सन दैट इज म्यू सफिक्स पी हेट इज इक्वल टू पॉपुलेशन प्रपोर्सन एंड वेरियंस ऑफ सैम्पल प्रपोर्सन इज गिवन बाय पी टाइम्स वन माइनस पी डिवाइडेड बाय एन वेर स्मॉल पी इज नथिंग बट पॉपुलेशन प्रपोर्सन सो वी विल रिमेम्बर दिस sampling distribution of sample proportion uh, we assume that we are given some population and we are interested in discussing some characteristic of that population and we are given the value of population proportion that is we are given the uh, fraction of the population which is having that characteristic after that we are considering or we are drawing a sample of size n from that population and we know that the number of elements in that population having that characteristic is say capital x then we can decide the sample proportion by this formula p hat equal to x by n now this capital x which is the number of elements in the population having that characteristic is a binomial random variable and if we have these two conditions satisfied then that x can be approximated by normal distribution therefore sample proportion also follows normal distribution if these two conditions are satisfied and mean of sample proportion or mean of sampling distribution of sample proportion is equal to value of population proportion and variance of sample proportion is given by p times 1 minus p divided by n so remember these two formulas for the mean and variance of the sampling distribution of sample proportion and using these two formulas we can answer the questions related to probabilities having this proportion in the question so this is all about sampling distribution of sample proportion in the next lecture we will discuss one problem related to this sampling distribution of sample proportion thanks for